Hi guys, it's Anna. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. I'm sorry, but this is a voiceover since I wasn't planning on making this video in English, but then I realized for how long I didn't make one. So I'm sorry and I hope you'll enjoy this video. Today will be all about how not to stress out about school, grades and studying in general. I'm not the best student myself and that's why I'm always looking for new ways to study. The thing is that I have a really bad memory and also weak nerves and by that I mean I get stressed out very easily. It usually happens when I start studying for an exam last minute, which is a number one mistake. So I want to tell you what I do to prevent this stress from inside and outside and then about how I handle stress when it happens. I hope it will be helpful for some of you. Enjoy the video! When it comes to physical ways you can use while you study, I would like to start with taking care of your workspace or study space. It can differ from person to person, some people love studying with others or surrounded by inspiring things, while others need complete silence and peace to concentrate. I'm somewhere in the middle, so I hope some of you will find my ways useful. The one thing that's super helpful for me is surrounding myself with plants. My desk is right next to a window, so it's a very sunny place, perfect for succulents. These are the ones I propagated a few months ago, they grew so much. There's also a lot of plants that are fine in less sunny spaces, so I'll try to write a few of them in the description of this video. Plants are obviously great in cleaning the air and sometimes they can also help you focus or prevent eye irritation. A plant or two will not hurt anyone and they can be very beneficial for you. When it comes to different sounds, it's good to know your preferences and use this knowledge when you study. I don't enjoy silence, so sometimes I turn on some white noise. It helps me focus a lot. And since I like to study in the company of other students, I love watching study with me videos on YouTube. They are super motivating. I also enjoy listening to music. It's best when it doesn't have any lyrics. So it's not distracting. If you didn't try it yet, listen to some classical music the next time you study or at least some calm acoustic music. You could also make a playlist that's about 30 or 40 minutes long, do your homework until the last song plays and then take a break and start over if you need to. In my opinion, the best way to use your break is to have some good food and drinks or just take care of your needs. If your back hurts a little, just lay down for a second and if you're starting to feel overwhelmed or stressed, watch 10 minutes of your favorite TV show that always makes you feel better. For me, it's usually making some food that will give me the energy to study for another hour. Still, I think it's necessary to start taking care of yourself in the morning if you want a stress-free day. If mornings are hard for you, there's a chance your day will be harder than it should be. Remember to get enough sleep and not get out of your bed last minute. I'm not a morning person myself, so I know it's not always easy to think positively in the morning, but it's all in your head. Sometimes you just need to not overthink every move and just do it. That's where your routine comes in handy. You can wake your body up by stretching a little, clear out your mind and don't think about what's awaiting you that day before you eat a breakfast. Even small things may seem overwhelming right after you wake up. Take care of your body and mind. My days always starts with a glass of water and I love when I have enough time to drink a coffee or tea before I get out the door. I think it's worth it to wake up five minutes earlier to have a warm drink and start your day right. After those few morning activities, you should feel more awake and the day ahead of you will turn out to be less difficult than you thought it would be. The next time some negative thoughts will get you right in the morning, just don't overthink everything and start doing things. 
appreciate the steam above your favorite tea and the sunrise, just slow down and enjoy the moment. If you can, take some time to exercise, it could be 10 minutes of yoga or Pilates or just sitting calmly on the mat. Your body is taking care of you, so you should take care of it too. It doesn't have to require a lot of energy, just do something that will make you feel better. But still, I don't always manage to avoid stress, we are all just humans and when I'm starting to feel overwhelmed, I use this method. I take a sheet of paper, but you can do this in your mind, I write down 5 things I see, feel, smell and touch. It's just a little exercise that helps me leave the stress behind and clear my mind. Just try it the next time you feel like you have too much to do. Another way to get away from the stressful situation is just taking a break. I don't let myself panic, I turn off the lamp and I take 10 minutes for myself. You could spend some time with your family, call a friend, take a bath or just take care of your nails, which is probably my favorite because apart from taking control of your nerves, you can also strengthen your nails. I take my favorite nail conditioners, these are the Eveline Cosmetics ones, and I spend some time with myself. I hope you found this video helpful, let me know what are your ways to manage school related stress. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!